the contribution of nuclear science and technology to the economies of countries with mature nuclear science and technology program is unparalleled. I advise that the board draws from the experience of those countries and identify opportunities on how Namibia may harness those experiences to our benefit. It is of critical importance that we remain mindful of our national interests and the role the board can play to advance those interests in collaboration with partners. And of course, if we look at probably about 50 years back, the activity in the industry of mining, especially of raw materials, uranium for that purpose, has been quite intensifying and complex machineries has been deployed for extraction of raw materials. Complex and advanced technology has been deployed for extraction of raw materials, which has been exported 100% since then up to now. Probably far too little has been placed at the side of processing these raw materials to impact both economic development, economic growth, and to deliver on our developmental agenda as it is outlined in Harambe Prosperity Plans, Development Plans, and the Vision 2030. These are some of the areas, Honorable Minister, perhaps that we will look at. About 20 years ago, Honorable Minister, the regulatory framework has been placed, has been put in place as it's actually uh, outlined in the Act Number 5 of 2005. And this also has evolved with different capacity in different areas in terms of human resource capacity, technical capacity, but of course there remain a scope to strengthen the regulatory framework. We will perhaps look into that and see how we can actually align this to our agenda as we advise the government and um, all other stakeholders.